Hi there, welcome to another episode of the Hecker Family Homestead. Today we are going to install a roof rack on the car. I'd love to say that this was one that I bought after careful consideration of many options. However, it is um, January 2022 and there aren't many options. Everywhere sold out. The dealership for Mitsubishi is sold out of roof racks. Um, so I kept checking Amazon the past few weeks that I've had the car. Um, everything was sold out, sold out, sold out. Finally, something popped up and not only is it compatible with the car that I have, but it's the same color, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna get into this now. So this particular one, I think it was about 170 bucks. It's called the Shark Universal Roof Rack. I should clarify, I already have the roof rack. Um, just putting on crossbars today. So there's the car, uh, shiny thing there glowing all pretty lock is uh, the roof rack itself. Let's go take a look. See. Hopefully I don't slip in the crazy ice. All right, so I'm sure there's some fancy name for these. I don't know it. I'm not gonna pretend I do. Um, but my crossbars are what's going to go across here. That's gonna help me carry more stuff because I'm American and I need stuff. If you've ever seen, there's a really good uh, George Carlin bit about us and all of our, our stuff. In opening up the package, there's some rudimentary instructions with, I think, three photos uh, that don't really, don't really answer the questions like I hoped they would. Uh, and this particular brand, you know, I found it on Amazon. It was what was available. I don't see any videos of theirs on um, YouTube or really anywhere. So just trying to figure it out as best I can. Now in the kit, they sent this and I've never installed a roof rack before. So I have no earthly idea what I'm doing. Um, but I took a look at this and was able to figure out that it is used to secure the screws through here and for the actual mounting portion itself when it slides into place here hey you know what this is awfully hard to do by myself but anyways the screws will go through here, therefore this piece needs to be at the bottom of that so we can screw this into place. Um, we will also then adjust it onto the vehicle and clamp it on. So there it is there, and let's go try to attach it. This particular car, the Mitsubishi Outlander 2018 uh, plug-in hybrid, hey there it is, plugging in. Anyways, the roof rack has a groove in it so this crossbar will push into the groove the other portion behind is a clamp and I will then twist this tightening up this clamp here clamping it into place and I will do the same on the other side and then once I've done that I will adjust the top portion here where I talked about those screws fitting in and I'll tighten those up once I've got it aligned where I want it. So I wish I could say that I'm totally mechanically inclined and knew exactly how this was to be put together. But I gotta admit, this little piece here really kicked my butt. I was wondering, so there's a, a, a picture in the instructions, which are way over there and I don't feel like getting right now, um, that kind of looked like this end was here. So it really, really took me for a loop. I was really trying to, to fit this in there, but no go. You, know, you can't you can't get that in there. So then I was wondering, was it below? But if I if I put it below, then we're not able to fit the actual piece in. Um, and so I, I sat back and looked and the screws are inserted this way. Here's where they terminate and it's obvious they've got these little ridges. Um, why is this here? So I just had to think about it for a moment. Actually use some that stuff that's in low supply, common sense, and realized, yeah, it just goes to the bottom there, and that lip is just to keep it in so that when I push this into place, it won't fall out. 
see if we can get a shot of this. So yeah, that's it. All right, once we've got everything kind of loosely snapped into place, like so, and we're in the groove, and I look at where that is in relation to that one, and they look somewhat aligned. So now, and you know what, holy moly, let's just take a moment. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in now. Oh, hello, focus, Danielson. Screwing that into place. Then tightening these guys here. Then we'll put the covers on and rinse and repeat. There it is, all done. May not be much, but uh, you know, I did it. So I'm pretty happy. They look decent. I put them close together. Uh, the reason being, I have a bunch of stuff in that barn. Well, I call it a barn. It's a glorified shed, whatever you want to call it. I've got a bunch of stuff over there I want to clear out. And so I need them about two feet apart. And that looks about right. I think that'll, that'll do it. It's kind of funny doing a video on cars. I am not a car guy. In fact, while I was doing this, I was thinking it's probably the only car related video that's going to be on this channel. I'm not really into the vehicles and it wasn't it was just a few weeks ago actually when we were leaving Germany we met the guy who was going to rent out the place. He wanted to come back and take a look at the garage to see if his car would fit in there and we ended up having a in-depth conversation about some electric Renaults that looked pretty good and I was saying yeah I like the Clio and I like the Zoe and I thought how how hilarious, you know, most, most Americans here were talking about Mustangs and F-150s, although that electric F-150 looks nice too. So I just have different things I want out of a car. I don't need it to be loud. I want it to hold the family. I want it to be quiet and efficient. And I want it to be less expensive. So blah, blah, blah. There's my little rant. Um, Here's a video on the super cheap, hopefully super practical um, build. Or not build, pardon, uh, install. Hope we get a lot of use out of it. Well, I know we're gonna get a lot of use out of it. Next up for the, is to get a tow hitch. Uh, finding a lot of sheep out here for sale and I can't get them if I don't have a trailer and a tow hitch to go pick them up in. So this is Jim with the Hacker Family Homestead. And thanks for watching, and good night.